And now, on with the show. What's up, son? Oh, it's this darn gumdrop machine, Pop. I keep putting pennies in it, but nothing comes out. <laughs> well, I shouldn't wonder you've been putting pennies in a parking meter. No wonder. Well, don't feel too bad, Junior. It happens to all of us. Remember, a fool and his money are soon parted. And that brings us to today's fable, which I call The Fox and the Winking Horse. What hell, Dobbin? Eating your breakfast, I see. Instead of answering, Dobbin, or Harold, which was his real name, he looked up at the fox and slyly winked. Now, this had an unusual effect. My goodness! When Dobbin winks, he doesn't fool about. Anxious to get as far away from the animal as possible, the fox slinked off into the underbrush. However, every time he looked around, there was the horse winking. The fox even tried to hide, but to no avail. In final desperation, the poor fox wandered into a nearby village and purchased a pair of sunglasses. Now, if this doesn't do the trick, nothing will. Turning a corner, he ran smack dab into the horse, who promptly winked. Eureka! It worked! Yes, the sunglasses prevented the wink from having its dire effect. Unfortunately, the horse chose to wink in every direction, and in a matter of minutes, the populace of the small village were all bouncing on their heads. Stop it, Dobbin. Stop it, I say. Look what you're doing. Of course, people bouncing on their heads not only lose their equilibrium, but the contents of their pockets as well. Money, watches, Wilkie buttons. The temptation was too great. In one fell swoop, the fox swept up the loot and skulked his way out of town. Later, at an inconvenient hideout... I'm rich! Rich, do you hear? Rich! You're also under arrest. I say, who are you? Sheriff of that small village you just robbed. We all know foxes are fast. Before the sheriff could act, he bolted out of the cave and was off to freedom. A freedom which lasted approximately two seconds. Confound you, Dobbin. Why did I have to run into you? It was a mighty sad fox who viewed the outside world from the inside of a county jail. Drat that winking horse. If it hadn't been for him, I would never have gotten into this mess. Hey, Fox, you got a visitor. What? Say she's your mother. You want to see her? Oh, yes, yes, of course. My mother's living in Toledo, Ohio. You got just two minutes. The Fox was about to embrace the hooded figure when the aroma of new mown hay assailed his nostrils. It's you. Suddenly a plan formed in the Fox's agile but warped mind. Quickly, horse. Start winking, and the sheriff will never be able to stop us. No, 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 not at me. Wink at the sheriff. Thus, a daring escape took place. Naturally, the incensed citizens of this village formed a posse and gave chase. Only to return empty-handed. I see you caught up with that winking horse. Well, we didn't get this way eaten upside down, cake. One hour later, the first in a series of unparalleled robberies began. I say, stop, choo-choo. Get off of the tracks, Fox, or I'll run you over. Don't make me laugh. This is a hold-up. Don't make me laugh. How can one little fox rob this big train? It was simple. The horse winked, and lo, the entire train inverted itself, spilling the contents of the passengers' pockets all over the tracks. Stagecoaches, Pony Express riders, they all fell prey to the winking horse. You know something, Dobbin? I've almost enough money to retire. All I need is $50,000 more. Which happened to be the exact amount in the coffers of the last national bank. However, the president was no ordinary fool. Gentlemen, the reason I've given you guns instead of fountain pens to work with today is that I suspect an attempted robbery. The reason he suspected it was mainly due to the fact that the fox had a gun pointing at his back. All right, sir. Hand over the money. Oh, don't be a fool, fox. You can't possibly outshoot all my employees. I won't have to. Give him the works, Dobbin. Dobbin hastened to obey, but something was wrong. 
Try as he may, he couldn't wink. I say, what's wrong, old paint, as the expression goes? Come on, wink. But old paint couldn't. Needless to say, the holdup was a distinguished flop, and the fox and the winking horse found themselves securely behind bars. Which only goes to prove, son, a fool and his money are soon parted. Oh, I don't think it proves that at all, Pop. You don't, huh? No, I think it proves this. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him wink. Care for a gumdrop? <laughs> There's more fun to come after these messages. 